All right, in this tutorial, uh, I want to talk about taking the arch and turning it into an asset that we're going to use inside a video game. Now, this, of course, requires that you've completed the arch model. You've completed the UV unwrap of the arch model. All of that work has to be finished before you can do this one. I'd like to stress that again. You must have completed the actual model of the arch as well as the UV unwrap of the arch. There we go. Let's jump into it. Now, here's my arch. If I select it, you can see it says arch here. So I'm going to go out here to my quad view and I'm going to right click up here on the snaps toggle, go to my home grid and make sure that grid spacing is 100 units. All right. So if I zoom out a little bit, there's my grid space. So we've been working on modular pieces. We've been working inside a 400 volume. What we're going to do is we're going to take our arch and make it fit within that space. So I'm going to put a FFD 2 by 2 by 2 modifier on it. And I'm going to go into the sub object here to the control points and grab everything. Go into move. And I'm going to set them to an X value of 200 because 200 is half of what? That's right, 400. And then let's come over here. I'm going to grab the control points in the bottom, make sure those go to zero. I'm going to grab the ones on the top. Now you will notice that I'm clicking in negative space and dragging to marquee select. So I get the points both in the front as well as the back. I'm going to set those to 400. And I'm going to grab the side points here and I'm going to set those to 400. I'm going to get the other side and set those to zero. Right click and convert to Editable Poly. Let's select our arch and I'm going to call it VN underscore arch. Now, some of the other things that we've done is we've done collision geometry. So we could build collision geometry uh, if we want this sitting on its own and for people to walk through it. Our plan is currently just to have it as a decorative item. So it's okay for it not to have collision geometry for those purposes. If you plan to use it in a different way, then you should definitely build the custom geometry that we described before. One thing we're definitely going to need, though, is light maps. So I'm going to put an unwrap UVW on, click in negative space. I'm going to go map channels. I'm going to take it from one to two, and I'm just going to say abandon. I'm going to open my UV editor. I'm going to say mapping, flatten mapping, and say OK. And so it's going to take everything and pack it into the zero to one space. I'm going to come down here to arrange elements and adjust my padding to be 0 0.05 and then just click on that and that kind of pads things out a little bit. Now let's just double check select overlap polygons. Nothing's overlapped. That's good. This is map channel 2. We can right click and say collapse 2 and then say edit poly and now I can export this out. All right. We'll probably want to save it. All right. I'll call this Arch Game Prep, BN Arch, Extra Edit Poly, and then I can export that out. File, Export, Export Selected. I will navigate to the proper folder with the rest of my tools, uh, uh, the rest of my Unreal elements, and bring that in. All right. So now, with that complete, right, the Arch is ready to go. It's ready to be used for a game. I'm going to go now to another file, and I'm going to open up my basic room pieces so here's my basic room pieces right and what I want is I want to make a little door frame I'm gonna use the arch for that so let's do I'm gonna make sure I know where my arch is saved excuse me file import merge I'm gonna to navigate to this folder and select my arch and so once I've selected it, it brings me up this dialog showing me everything inside. And so I want that BN underscore arch, Let's say OK. And that brings that into the scene. OK, so let's go ahead and I'm going to clone this. Actually, I'm not going to clone it. Let's open up our scene explorer if it's not already open. And what I want is my doorway piece and my arch. And I'm going to hide everything else. So I'm going to 
uh, go ahead and here let's grab this piece and this piece and then I'm going to come over here under edit geometry and detach I'm going to detach as a clone go back up here to the top level and just hide my arch so now I have these pieces I'm going to utilize them to make a door frame and so I'm going to start off with this guy here and I'm just going to put an FFD 2x2 modifier on it I'm going to remove that, go into element, grab the top, put an FFD 2x2 on that. Control points, move this down. You know what? It'll realize I'm going to right click and say unhide by name. And I want to unhide my corner piece because that'll be useful for what we're doing as well. Okay. So now I'm going to come over here. And I want to make this piece so that it kind of it says goes up as high. Because I'm going to want to use this inside my corridors to kind of break up in between each one. So I have to be kind of around that height. It doesn't have to be exactly. It could be you know, partially buried inside there. But I do want to definitely cover up the doorway. So figure out a good element. Like this is probably good right here. Because now there's a little bit more outside than there is inside. It's all looking pretty good. All right, so next let's go in and we're going to want to bring these pieces in a little bit. So I'm going to switch to scale and I'm in the using my control points to do this. Scale this in a little bit. Just like that. How does that work with my corridor? Mm, not quite. I want to make sure I'm covering the side on the corridor. So about like this would be okay. All right. And then it needs to be thinner. So I can scale that in. There we go. Bring that in a little bit. That works really good. So I'm going to right click and say convert to edit poly on that. And now let's take this again in element. We'll click on this main column portion, put another FFD on him and go into the control points. And then here from above, I'm going to move it over. Really, I want to make sure it's sitting there at zero. And then I can slide it over. And I want to make sure that it's covering both the edge of the door frame as well as the edge on the inside here. Because again, we're going to use that to kind of cover up where our pieces meet. So let's grab those bottom points, bottom points only, make sure those are at zero. And then grab everything at the top and raise those up. That's stretching the whole thing out, so we don't want to do that. Let's undo that, right click, and say convert to edit poly. And then in vertex, we can grab those points. And then here in the front, we're just going to raise those up. Because they're sitting kind of right about underneath it. And take the bottom ones and just put those at zero. So they drop down. There we go. So now we kind of have this little door frame piece and we may want to take it and make it a little bit thicker. Let's scale that out a little bit. When I'm scaling, I'm sure that I'm either on uh, uniform, non-uniform, don't want to be on squash and stretch. I'm just gonna scale that out a little bit. There we go. So it's a nice looking little door frame piece. And let's detach that as a clone. Oh no, just gonna detach it. So now I can select that piece and put a symmetry on here. Go to mirror, and I'm gonna move this symmetry plane to 200. All right, so I got both those mirrored. Right click and convert that to poly. And I can grab the main body of it and reattach those support beams on the sides. Let's go ahead and I'm going to right click on it and say clone as a copy and then rotate it 45 degrees because I want to kind of check how it sits together inside here. So I think this is good because this is how it's going to sit inside my corridor pieces and I like that it's not clipping on itself. I think that looks really nice. 
so we can get rid of this one. So the last thing we want to do with this before we're done with this arch piece is we want to put a, a little sweep on the bottom because you'll notice that our, our wall piece and our corridor piece, they kind of overlap and there's Z fighting on it. And so we're going to hide that. We're just going to click on these top polygons here. If I go into wireframe, make sure I get all of them on the top. And then let's detach this, but detach as a clone. So now I can select that piece up there on the top, go into element, select it, and then just move it down to zero. And then I just want to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. I don't want it to overlap the edges out here, but I don't want it to perfectly match it either. And now I'm going to go into edge and grab this edge and this edge and hit ring and zoom out so you see it gets all the edges going across and just hit connect. And now I'm going to go into polygon and grab my center polygons here. And I'm going to raise those up slightly. I'm just going to put a value of one. So now those are off the ground a little bit. And so that'll help cover up where that connects. And so now I can go back out to this piece. Oops. And I can attach that bottom sweep part. Now I could call this door frame. This piece does not need collision because all the surrounding geometry is going to have collision. And so it doesn't really need it. But what it does need is if put it on wrap on here. I'm going to go from channel one to channel two. And I need to take this and actually pack everything in here. And actually, you know what, let's just do flatten mapping. There we go. And then change my padding to 0 0.05. We'll pad that out a little bit. There we go. Oops. All right. So now everything has its own unique spot out here. I just put an edit poly on it and now we'll name it. We'll make sure I have my name on it. BN under, oops, BN underscore. And so now here in my scene explorer, in addition to all of our other pieces, we're going to have both an arch as well as a door frame. So, and both of those are going to be really useful. We can export those into unreal and we can start placing those inside the scene. Uh, this arch piece we're going to want to put between every piece inside of our scene to make sure uh, between every single corridor piece to hover cover up any gaps or any light map uh, seams that we may run into.